Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I will show you how you can print these two pieces in different color in one go. Let's scratch to this topic. Before we get into the video, if you need lithium ion battery pack, check out my store in the description down below. I'll be answering some of you guys' question about printing multicolor, not like red, black, blue, and green, not like that, but these two pieces on the same build plate printing at the same time but with different colors. And there are some pros and cons with doing this, but I feel like doing this, there's more cons than pro, but I'll explain why in a bit. And I will also be showing you how I can make the Cobra 3 print super fast. This is not just the Cobra 3, which I'll leave a link down below. If you are interested in a Cobra 3 combo, you can get the Cobra 3 combo for 379 right now on any Cubics page. And maybe there are some coupons to even lower that price. So check out the description down below for a huge discount on the Cobra 3 and the cable max and, and the 3v3 basically all companies right now are having a huge sale going on so check out the links in the description for the best price so there's a question here i'll put it right here what settings do you use to get it to print so fast does this work on more complicated prints and or with pla filaments it works on complicated prints too but not too complicated let's say you have a retraction here retraction here retraction like 10 retraction and like once again like this, 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 like that it's not good for going fast. You need to slow down a bit. But if you just have like an outer wall, like square outer wall, circle outer wall, or like a huge long outer wall, a line here, go, 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 pretty much straight lines, you can do a really fast print. And the infill, you can print as, as fast as the 3D printers allow it to print because the infill usually most of the time prints pretty well, better than the outer wall. With PLA filament, yes high-speed PLA filament or in my experience most modern PLA can print up to 600 millimeters per second even if some are really at high speed and some are really at lower speed from my experience most PLA can be printing at about 300 millimeters per second and the previous shorts that I posted the Cobra 3 was printing at 600 millimeters per second and that was Elegoos Rabbit PTG and that was the print right here this one was printed with 600 millimeters per second and look at that, it's just shiny. PDG is shiny and it just looks really nice. The layer stack really nice. Even the top layer, 600 millimeters per second, everything just perfect. You can do it with fast PLA, fast PDG, and maybe if you got the settings and the correct 3D printer, you can even do it with fast ABS. You guys ask. Could you do a video how to print two objects with two separate colors on the same plate just like these two and I'll show you that in a bit. And I will also show you what settings to change to make your 3D printer print really fast. Let's go over to any cubic slicers next. This also works with Orca slicers but let's go. Okay we are in in cubic slicers next. So first of all I'm gonna show you how to print two objects like this but in different colors. What you want to do for any 3D printers that have multicolor printing, you need to add a filament. So let's go to prepare. You click on your object, look at the tool up here. There is no option for painting. So what you need to do is go to the filament tab over here, click add one filament. And now you have two filament right here. You can pick any color you want. And if we come back and look at the tool top here, we can see that there's a bucket painting right here. If we click slice plate, both of them, and we change the key up here to filament, you can see that they are both white. Let's go back to prepare, click one of the object, click the painting or N on your keyboard, and now we can select the second color. I'm going to do fill and just like do 90 degree angle smart fill so that everything gets painted like that. So now everything is painted yellow. We can go and slice the plate right now and look at this one object is yellow the other one is white so there you go so that's how you print two objects with two different colors and i will talk why this is bad if we look at over here this is the purge tower so what happens here is that your 3d printer starts with white on the cover three it will poop some filament and then it will come and print this first layer right here after that it's gonna go and retract the filament and as you can see over here it starts printing with yellow so it changes color to yellow now and then after that it's going to come back and print this next object and then it's going to print the next object with yellow again 
because that is better than switching to white again. It will print the second layer starting with yellow and then it will do its purge, switch to white, do the purge tower again, and then it will print the white ball right here. So that's the reason why this is bad. And if we look at the print total time right here, it's gonna take two hours, five minutes for this print. And if we even look closer, it takes one hour, 37 minutes just to switch filament. So that's the reason why I say that this is not the best way to do two objects with two different colors. It just takes so much time. On to the next one, printing super fast. So let's slice the plate again. On any cubic slicers next, you can see this. And on Orca slicer, you can also see this. If you just go down to like the middle right here and scroll this bottom bar right here, you can see that it has the printing speed right there, right here. The outer wall is printing at about 88 millimeters per second. But if we go to the left panel here, look at our speed, the inner wall is supposed to be at 300 millimeters per second. So what's the problem here? Why is it printing like this? Well, if we come back and look at the key up here, we can go to flow. We can see that this portion only flows at about 6.4 flow rate. So that's very low. By printing slower, you do get better quality. There are a couple settings that you can do. So let's just remove the filament. We only use one filament for this. We're gonna click edit the filament. Then on the filament here setting, we're gonna go all the way down and right here, max volume metric speed. So this is the amount of volume metrics or the amount of filament flow that's gonna come out of your nozzle. So I've been testing this and for the Cobra 3, for me, I just use 23 as like super fast printing speed. I'm gonna click slice plate again. And if we look at this, the flow rate is still about six and the speed is still 88. Well, why? I change it, right? Yes. But there is another settings that prevent us from going faster than this. We can go back to the filament setting. We're going to go on cooling, go down to this setting right here. Slow printing down for better layer cooling. We're going to uncheck this. And now if we come back here and slice the plate, you can see that the inner wall now has a 282 speed, 22 flow. So it basically is almost at our maximum flow rate and our speed. Of course, you won't get the exact amount of 300 millimeters per second. You will get super close to it, but not exactly that. And if we look at the key up here, our maximum volume matrix for this print is 40 millimeters cubed per second. And the inner wall is still at 282. So if you want to increase the speed, you will have to increase your volume matrix. Let's put at 30 right now. Click slice again. And look at that. Our inner wall is at 360 now, and our flow is at 28. You don't really want this to be this high because sometimes your extruder cannot push the filament fast enough, cannot melt fast enough. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this out there. Um, how I calibrate my 3D printers to make it print super good. So first of all, I select my 3D printers, and then I use the system preset one for the printing setting, and the system preset for filament. Then I use Orca Slicer's built-in calibrations right here, the flow rate. If you want to calibrate the flow rate of your 3D printers to make sure that it prints really good. All the lines are flowing and have a good layer bonding next to each other. You can do the flow rate, pass one, pass two. Just follow the tutorial, it will tell you everything. Calibrations that I really need to make my 3D printer good is the flow rate and pressure events. I just do these two because if you go to your setting and you scroll down a bit, the flow ratio and pressure events is right here. So it defaults to 0.98 and pressure events is disabled. These two numbers make a huge differences. So I already got my calibrated and I will show you my calibrate one. So it was 0.98 and I do the flow ratio and I got 0.9796. Yes, yes, it is super close to 0.98, but it makes a difference. And the pressure events, my pressure events is 0 0.078 and this works really well for me. These two are really important for getting your first layer flow really nicely. There are more calibrations that you can do, but for me, those two are the most important for my 3D printers. Okay, as you saw there, I cover how to print two models using two different colors on the same build plate. And like I said, that's not the best way to do it because it takes two hours to print just those two small balls. And if you print separately with 
the same color it's only 17 minutes so that's so much better i also show you how to change your speed so that you can have a really fast speed without any limitations increase your volumetric speed increase your printing speed disable slow down for cooling so that your 3d printers can print faster here is the perfect example this one was printed at 600 millimeters per second or even faster i forgot but if i just push this you can hear it cracking like you hear that that's not even lots of pressure. The layers, the filament does not have enough time to cool down, to bond with each other. There's other one right here. So there's two different ones. This one prints so fast. This one prints a little bit slower. And I, you can't hear anything. Yes, you cannot hear anything. So if you print slower, your filament is going to bond together so much better and stronger. <laughs> oh, if you wonder what this is, it will be coming very soon of what this is. And if you wonder what these are, subscribe to the channel because it's going to be amazing. I have cool plans for these two. But that'll be it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you still have any questions, still have any concern about printing fast, different colors in one field plate, and just other questions of 3D printing. I will try to answer the best of I can. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to know what these are and what that thing is. And as always, keep on 3D printing. But before you leave, if you are in need of lithium ion batteries, check out my store right here. It's scratch3dbattery.store. You can choose from various types of connectors. T-plug with a balanced charger. Or just a simple JST SM plug. Or if you need XT60 or XT30, it's also available with a balanced charger. You can choose from various types of battery pack and connectors that suits your needs so once again if you need high quality lithium ion battery pack check out my store scratch 3d battery.store there will be a link in the description down below and thank you so much